Hey everyone, I'm Shravani with rule number 2301388 and I want to talk about a pressing issue that affects all of us, the unequal distribution of wealth. It's a problem that's been around for centuries, but it's reaching critical levels in our modern world. Let's dive in and explore why this is such a big problem and what we can do about it. First off, let's understand what we mean by unequal distribution of wealth. Essentially, it's when a small portion of population holds a disproportionately large share of world's wealth, leaving the majority with much less. This creates a lot of problems in the society. When wealth is concentrated in the hands of a few, it leads to social unrest, economic instability and even political corruption. It widens the gap between the rich and the poor, making it harder for those at the bottom to climb up the economic ladder. It also limits opportunities for education, healthcare and overall well-being. We have seen this play out throughout the history. Take the industrial revolution. For example, as industries boomed, wealth became concentrated in the hands of factory owners, while workers toiled in poor conditions for little pay. This led to labor movements and eventually reforms that aim to redistribute wealth more equitably. However, even with these reforms, we still see glaring inequalities today. The gap between the rich and the poor continues to widen, with wealthiest individuals amazing unprecedented levels of wealth while many struggle to make ends meet. So, what we can do about it? Well, there are several measures we can take to address this problem. First is progressive taxation. Implementing a progressive tax system where the wealthy pay a higher percentage of their income in taxes can help redistribute wealth more equitably. Investment in education and healthcare. By investing in education and healthcare for all, we can provide opportunities for everyone to succeed regardless of their background. Living wage legislation. Ensuring that workers are paid a living wage can lift people out of poverty and reduce income inequality. Regulation of financial market. Implementing regulations to prevent financial institutions from taking advantage of consumers and engaging in risky behavior can prevent wealth from being concentrated in the hands of a few. What, is, what are the bar uh, barriers to implementation? Of course, implementing these measures won't be easy. There are powerful interests at play that benefit from the current system and they will resist any attempts to change it. Political gridlock, lobbying efforts and ideological differences can all stand in the way of progress. But that doesn't mean we should give up. We need to push for change and hold our leaders accountable. We can start by advocating for policies that promote economic justice and participating in the democratic uh, process to elect officials who prioritize the needs of the many over the interests of the few. In the short term, we can work on raising awareness about the issue and building momentum for change. In the medium term, we can push for specific policy reforms and mobilizing grassroots movements to pressure lawmakers into action. And in the long term, we can strive for a society where wealth is distributed more equitably, ensuring uh, a brighter future for generations to come. In conclusion, the unequal distribution of wealth is a major problem that requires urgent attention. By implementing measures like progressive taxation, investment in education and healthcare, and living wage legislation, we can begin to address this issue and create a more just, a more uh, equitable society for all. But it won't be easy and it won't happen overnight. It will require uh, perseverance, dedication, and a collective effort from all of us. Thank you.